Hey y'all, uh, it's your girl Jemaya. Back at it again with another motherfucking YouTube video. And today, I got a comment on my last video because I said, I don't know if I said it in the video. I'm sorry, I'm rotating this because I feel like this should be in the middle. I don't know. But um, I don't know if I said it in my last um my, my hygiene routine, but I know I was planning on doing like a hygiene routine for down there because you know. I'm 17 going on 18 next year. So I got some tips and tricks about what y'all need to do. Cause y'all know y'all going through puberty and all this other stuff. My lips are dry. Hold up. Cause that's not cute. They're gonna be real sticky because of this. This is the lip gloss I need, y'all. I might start making them again. I don't know. Alright, so um yeah i know what to do to stay fresh down there i've learned some tips from my mother learned a whole bunch of stuff from the internet youtube videos just everything okay so this is gonna be mainly just like how to stay fresh and all the other stuff i'll probably do um like how to stay fresh on your pa video later on but i don't know I'm gonna start doing more hygiene routines because you guys really like hygiene routines. Like I posted one two weeks ago and it has already like 12,000 views. So thank y'all a lot for that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe based off of that video and this video too. If this video gets to, I don't know, cause honestly that one has like 400, 500 likes. I'm just gonna start off slow and say if this video gets to, 600 likes then i'm gonna drop the um how to stay fresh on your period but other than that i'm gonna try to stick to like after this video i'm gonna try to stick to like my hair videos because i still have my you know my natural hair under my wigs but um y'all really like those i know y'all like those and y'all like hygiene routines and i might do like some other videos because you know christmas is coming up i can't do vlogmas i can't for one, I don't do stuff in my life to be vlogging or just to make videos every single day. Like, I got too much going on. Especially, it's been difficult for me to make videos because, for one, I'm in the process of changing schools. I'm going back to my old school. And um, I have a lot of tests coming up. I'm in, like, three AP classes. So, it's just struggling. But I'm making it do what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're getting it together. But I am trying to come at you guys with videos. So... I'm gonna start being way more consistent. And without further ado, let's get into the motherfucking video. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I'm scratching my hair. I have this on because, I mean, I could take it off, but I'm kind of feeling it. I had it on to set my edges because my edges were looking for food. But, um, so the first thing, I'm gonna get into um is the main thing that hold up because my light okay because period i have everything i'm handing the laptop um the first thing that you want to take into consideration of course when it comes to your downstairs area that's what we're going to refer to it as is washing so it's you know the the basics um i don't have my glasses on so i'll try to read off this as good as possible um so when you're washing okay this is what i do i use well i take really 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 hot showers so my water's already like scorching hot don't make it too too hot though but like hot enough that you can handle it and you won't be like ah you know type just hot okay so you take hot water and don't don't use body wash down there okay because that has a whole bunch of fragrances, dyes, chemicals. Like you don't want to use any of that because that can easily throw off your pH balance. And once your pH balance gets thrown off, it can lead to things like odor, okay? Um, yeast infections, and you don't want a yeast infection. What a yeast infection is, if you guys didn't know, it's um, the buildup of yeast because yeast is naturally occurring in your body. It starts building up and you get like cottage cheese-like discharge. So if that's happening to you, 
need to i mean you could go to the doctor you don't yeast infections are pretty common so you really don't need to but they have stuff like monostat don't use that though but that's just like stuff that you know like they have stuff for yeast infections if you go to the dollar tree not dollar tree dollar general any walmart you could find stuff for it and i'm pretty positive like it'll get gone like you just gotta do your research on it i don't know if, and t start talking to your mothers about like stuff because some moms they feel awkward about talking about stuff like that because they don't really I'm, especially moms that don't really have daughters like that just talk to them because i promise you like a lot of women i know have had yeast infections so they'll know what to do to help you but yeah you don't want to use anything fruity none of that you just need dove and honestly you can get there's like the deep moisturizing one you know the one that's like blue or i think the one that i use is like a tealy kind of color and it's like sensitive skin use the sensitive skin one because that one or one that just says no fragrances no dyes because that's the one that you want to use because it doesn't have all that extra stuff in it that you don't need okay because period and everybody knows this when they say it don't get the soap in you know in the hole don't do that just wash around everything and you will be fine and don't overly wash because then that like just like with your skin like you don't want to stay in the shower for too long just washing away all that good bacteria on your body because then your skin is going to be left really dry which is why people have to moisturize okay don't do that just wash according like i'd say a good five minutes rinse it off and if you gotta wash again do it again for another five minutes until you feel like you're clean okay because period and when you end your showers this is just a tip overall end your showers with cold water you don't want just do it i'm telling you it's it's the benefit of me bro do it because i get out the shower and it's like super duper duper hot and then say like you try to wash off or you try to dry off and then now you're just like that towels on you i'm rambling but the towel be on me and i be burning up like especially because it's winter time so the heat's blasting and just shower cold um water drink your water i'm a big hypocrite with this because i hate it's not that i don't i don't i like drinking water for the benefits of it but the taste of water is just so bland and i like soda i mean i don't drink soda like that i drink sprite and ginger ale if anything maybe a coke every now and then but the main things i drink are juice and um actually juice and ginger ale are my main things but i need to start drinking way more water because water helps not only down there but like everywhere it helps with your skin I don't even know for one you want your pee to be clear like sis if you're peeing and it's dark brown you have an issue going on drink your water i don't know maybe take some cranberry pills because something's wrong something is wrong okay drink your water so you can cleanse yourself out okay and speaking of cleansing yourself out discharge discharge is normal only time discharge is not normal is like I said if you see that cottagey cheese type thing or if it has like a prominent odor like of course you're not gonna smell like strawberries flowers rainbows lollipops like you are gonna smell like what it, it smells like. like it don't got no scent really you know I don't know how to explain it you understand if it smells like fish if it smells like it got a little twang to it, you know what I'm saying? A little, ooh, you know, that's not good. You <laughs> need, especially because, especially the fishy smell is um subject to, I think, bacterial vaginosis. And that you will most definitely need to go to the doctor to figure that out. So honestly, just look through all the, don't go on, um what's it called, WebMD? Don't go on there. If you want to look up something, just look it up and then it'll tell you the symptoms. And if you feel like you're somewhere in between those symptoms, talk to your parents and adults or just if you're grown on your own just go get it checked out to make sure everything's okay like there's no such thing as being like overly safe about something like if you feel like something's wrong with your body and especially if you really know yourself go get it checked out because so many people out here with stuff that they don't even know they got and it's just getting worse you don't want that we want to be clean healthy all of that good stuff all of that good stuff okay because period white front to back your parents most definitely should have taught you that you don't want okay so feces 
from the back though, you know, we, you don't want that near any of that because that can't, oh my goodness. My phone finna die. But um, that can cause your, you know, infection. Just don't do it. You don't want any of that around any of this. Wipe front to back. And also when you're using, when, you, when I use the bathroom, I like to use baby wipes. That's just me. I like to feel extra clean. Plus it's like a little shower. Cause you know, paper, I said paper towel. Ooh, in the world. Tissue, it's pretty dry unless you get like the really soft kinds. And even at that, when they get the other kinds, they put fragrances in them and like different types of oil and stuff to make them super duper plush. And you don't want none of that. Just get you some nice unscented baby wipes or get the ones that's like really lightly scented. Like, I don't know, like, what's the light scents? They have like cucumber melon. I don't know. Really, something really light that's not like, you don't want no Japanese cherry blossom wipes in your downstairs area. You don't want that, okay? Just get a nice unscented wipe, unscented baby wipe, wipe front to back, and then dispose of it however you dispose of it. If you get the flushable ones, flush it. If you get the other ones, put it in the trash can, you know, do what it do, period. Blink. Okay, good period. I say that a lot, so I'm sorry. Um... Uh -huh. take a shower every day because smells accumulate and you don't want a whole bunch especially down here like you don't want nothing building up because like i said bacteria builds especially if it's moist okay moist and hot and you're sweating or doing anything and you're not showering that is breeding area for yeast and you need to not do that like you need to stay clean at all times i'm telling you if you like literally the smallest thing can throw off your ph balance like it's very sensitive down there some people aren't sensitive i am i don't like anything being thrown off so i try to be as clean as possible because if you're not feeling good down there, then honestly, you're not feeling good anywhere. Because I know everybody, when they're on their period, you're not feeling like yourself. You're just like, ew, I don't like this. I'm ready for like it to be over with. And that's just with anything, any health thing anywhere. Like, you don't feel like your normal self. And you don't want that. You don't want that. So just take care of yourself. Take a shower every day, twice a day, whatever you want to do, honestly. And sometimes, I know, because especially when I was younger, like, I be in so much play mode that I will forget. To, like, I take my showers at nighttime. Sometimes I will forget to take a shower, like, when I was younger, like, say, middle school type. And I wake up in the morning, and then I take my shower. Like, you got to accommodate for your own self if you know that sometimes you forget honestly if it's a shower you should not forget make sure at least like if if you're on your phone and you know you should be showering but you're not put the phone down turn on some music get your butt in the shower okay because we don't want to be dirty booties out here we want to be clean queens okay because period next thing panty liners you don't really need panty liners but it's so it's better to like contain everything especially if you're trying to keep your underwear intact also speaking of underwear you want to make sure you're wearing cotton underwear okay it's all right to wear like your little silk underwear i don't know if y'all grown y'all doing what y'all do whatever you want to look all cute or whatever for your mans i don't know it's okay to wear that every now and then but as far as every single day no because why, like I said, moisture, especially with like silk and stuff like that, like moisture is very easy to build up, which could also lead to yeast infections. And when you're wearing underwear, I prefer not to wear a thong because thongs, they're really uncomfortable. They're super tight. You don't have much room. Like I said, moist, once you, something's really tight, it's like compact and starts getting hot. Just, you don't want that wearing super duper duper tight clothes all the time or wearing underwear to sleep. You don't need to do that either. You can honestly go to sleep without underwear on or just like, I don't know. Let her breathe sometimes, y'all. Let her breathe. Because I know, especially nowadays, everybody's wearing tight, tight fit stuff. And there's a whole bunch of yeast infections going around, okay? And why? It's because she ain't breathing. She needs some air. Let her breathe. Let her, let her breathe. Let her breathe, let her breathe, let her breathe, let her breathe. Okay, apple cider vinegar baths. I do these every now and again. Just when I want to make sure everything's fine or like if something's off, I'm like, okay, let me get her back together. Apple cider vinegar is a very, apple cider vinegar is, I'm going to call it ACV because that's just a whole lot of thing. ACV is very good for you overall. It's good for your skin. It's good for your inside health. It's good for down there. Like it's good everywhere. I personally use it on my face and down there when, especially like if something's wrong, 
apple cider vinegar will most definitely fix it but you must sis you will get burnt you will get burnt if you don't dilute it i'm talking about like one to one ratio or maybe even two to one ratio like you got to make sure it's diluted because it's very 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 strong now, if you drank it before you know for a fact it's super duper strong make sure you dilute it put some water in with it and make sure that it's not like super strong because if you can really 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 smell that smell and it's like super potent you you need to put more water in it okay but all that does is it cleanses you out, it gets your pH balance back together, and like I said, you can also use it on your face and dilute it as a toner. I use it with my um, Aztec Indian Healing Clay Mask. I do that. And overall, apple cider vinegar is just the bomb.com, like holy grail of anything hygiene related, honestly. Um, yogurt and probiotics. So, yogurt has a lot of probiotics in it there's also like things like cheese or you could just literally take a probiotic pill and you'll be good that really helps your ph balance like it keeps everything intact honestly like people always tell you to like eat yogurt if something's wrong or just to keep it healthy period i hate yogurt though so i'm not that type of person i honestly take cranberry pills because cranberry pills help with your ph balance also if you didn't know most people don't know but if you really do your research you'll figure it out because most people only use them for um i'm sorry i have a spinny chair and it keeps spinning and i'm trying to center myself but most people um use that for urinary tract infections and honestly it's good for everything keep your bladder together is, there's so much stuff that's just multi like usage things like that most people don't even know about like come on now I'm putting y'all on game I promise you um that's pretty much everything I have on here like I said when you're washing hot 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 water hot enough that you can bear it not too hot that like you're like ow you know what I'm saying ow <laughs> you gotta be able to actually sit there and do it and it not be you can feel that it's hot but it's not like burning you type that some dove sensitive skin soap the bar soap and i don't really use anything liquid when it comes to i just use bar like strictly bar soap and sometimes people they're even sensitive to the point where they can't even use soap. honestly if you use water you're fine like i said discharge i didn't even really get into that like that discharge is you oh, is discharge is the way that you know she cleans herself out down there and it's fine everything's good unless like it should be like a clear clear consistency clear to like a little offish white kind of color but like if it's anything like green brown purple I don't know anything other than like clear white to like a milky white kind of color then you need to like redo your routine if something if you've been using a new product and something's off do that honestly i don't use stuff like vagisil and whatever the other brands are i don't use any of that my mom told me i don't need to use any of that whole bunch of people are saying that it does stuff since you know it has fragrances in it even though it is catered to your ph i've never tried it before so i can't vouch i'm just telling you guys what works best for me and this is what works best for me so honestly, it depends on the person. Like I said, you guys, we're gonna go over everything again. Water, showering daily, panty liners, you don't really need them, but if you wanna use them for discharge because you don't wanna mess up your underwear, then do that, honey bun, do it. Um, apple cider vinegar baths, probiotics such as like yogurt, cheese, or any type of probiotic pill that you can find. They're also good for like your digestion because my mom, my mom and my dad are very big on vitamins. So that's how I know most of this stuff. Um, what else? Don't get any soap in the hole. Everybody should know this. And cotton underwear, preferably no dyes, guys. So like white or like some nudes. I don't know. Anything that doesn't have too much dye in it, you can do. But honestly, if you're wearing a panty liner, it really shouldn't matter. But just stay away from stuff that has like overly amounts of dyes. Because I know y'all in this pink underwear because I'm the same way. Since I love me some pink underwear. But is it the best for, you know, what's going on? No. But... Like I said, panty liners will most definitely help out with that. And wiping from front to back using your baby wipes. That's all the stuff that I do to help maintain her downstairs. And I'm doing this mainly for my younger babies because I know I had to look at all these videos to make sure I knew what was going on. Because especially when you're younger and because my mom, she hasn't really had to raise, raise any girls. Because if you guys did not know, I have a sister who has autism and her autism is mild, I'm pretty sure. And she can't like do much stuff for herself. So 
my mom has just been taking care of her since you know well of course since she was born but she she's kind of like a child if that makes sense but she's 25 so my mom's never really had to raise a child like raise a girl before because I, all I have is a brother so you know it some parents they're not used to talking about stuff like this with their kids so they don't really know about it unless you go up and ask and you know being a child you're very shy so you really just got to take it into your own hands at some point in time and look for the information yourself which is what I do and I'm giving it to you guys so you won't have to go nowhere else but here and also I'm giving you that confidence to go talk to your parents because I promise you they know everything Sometimes they might be shy too. You never know. But that's going to be it for this video. Comment down below what other videos you want to see from me. Any more hygiene routines. Any more hair videos. I don't know. Makeup. Shoot. I don't know what you want to do. Vlogs. Get ready with me. Anything. Just let me know and I will give it to you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.